Elizabeth. Hi. How are you? Good, thanks. Well, it's my second competition right now, and I think the first one went not too bad for the first competition. Of course, uh, I think there's a lot of work to do, especially on my long program, but that's okay, I'll, I'll work on it. <laughs> Well, uh, of course, the main focus is on is doing the clean programs uh, every time, and that's just the main goal. And uh, maybe learn something new, um, improve skating, spins, and um, maybe jumps too. I have my first Grand Prix in like two and a half weeks first uh, I have to do I have to compete well at the Grand Prix and then at the every competition every competition is important to me I'm glad to be back home uh, especially because I miss my family so much when I'm not in Russia in Moscow and I was born in Moscow so it's nice to be back home with my family and train there. I can say that she's a real professional and uh, I really like training with her so far. Um, yeah, she's tough, but that's a good thing. Uh, that's what I like about her. It's maybe sometimes hard when I'm training, like, not everything goes always well, but that's what uh, the hard training makes competition easier. Yeah, so I guess I can say I like training with her. And Great. I also like all the other coaches there. They're really helping me. I like my new programs. They're different from last year. And that's a good thing. Every day is, uh, you have to train hard every day. It's not like one day you're training well, second day well, and then third day, you, okay, today I'm tired, I don't wanna work, and I'll just do whatever. You, can't, you cannot do that there. So you have to train hard every day. Yeah, but as I said, it's a good thing. <laughs> I cannot say it's my favorite moment, but it's definitely memorable. So when I was five and I had my first competition, um, my mom tied my skates. And when I was performing, they got untied. And I was like crying because, well, it was my first competition, it was important to me. and then. Since that moment, I started tightening my skates myself. Yeah, it was <laughs> really, uh, I will remember that forever. <laughs> um, I had, uh, there was one Grand Prix in Japan and I traveled there from Toronto. And there's a big time change and I never traveled that far for competition and I, didn't sleep for a week yeah that was like really bad I like I couldn't sleep I couldn't sleep uh, daytime nighttime and my mom was also not sleeping that was like a terrible time and I was already thinking maybe I shouldn't compete because that was like horrible uh, but then my coach um, Ryan he told me like I I sh should compete and I can do it and and I actually did not so bad and I guess uh, I learned from that competition that I shouldn't give up <laughs> and, and yeah that's the, like the main thing in any sport like, to never give up I'm really glad I have uh, so many people that support me. I read their messages, uh, their comments, um, how they like my skating and it really helps me. 
to know that there's people that uh, support me. Um, even if something goes not so well, they're still here for me. And that's just a really good thing and I'm really thankful. Awesome. Thank you so much for this interview. It was my pleasure and I wish you all the best for the rest of the season. Thank you so much.